Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and it's been a while that I did a Windows 10 build update or hands-on for you. Uh, the reason why is because uh, I haven't started my virtual machine environment for a minute because I've been so busy with these tech events. And uh, so when I loaded up my Windows 10 virtual machine, uh, I received build 10.565. I know it's a uh, you know it's a couple of weeks old, but you know why not? So uh, I have my trusty little book right here with all my notes of what I found, what's you know what's new, and what's odd. So let's get started. So the first thing that I noticed when I got the new build is it looks like the Windows Store app was changed. On the previous build, it had like a nice little blue shadow, uh, so they removed it. Uh, the next thing that I noticed is within the Microsoft Edge, which is the new Internet Explorer, even though they still have Internet Explorer installed on the on the build. Uh, it looks like they have this cool preview uh, feature. It only works for the tab that's not active. So as you can see, I'm in my site and I, I can't use the preview, but I'm able to preview the ones that are inactive. So that's pretty awesome. Another cool feature that I noticed is on the old builds, the make a note on the web never worked for my website. So as you can see, I, I changed the color, I'm writing it. So let's say I just wanna make this modification right here, I circled it. I probably want to make modifications and call it BTN HD. Who knows? In the future, right there. So that's, I, I think that's pretty awesome. I like that feature. I like the fact that they Microsoft kind of open it up. You don't have to modify or uh, adjust your website for this feature to work. It just happens. That's awesome. Uh, another thing that I noticed within the Microsoft Edge is uh, within your uh, favorites and your reading list, everything gets synced up to all your devices. And that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, another cool thing is you're able to personalize your environment even more. Uh, so let me minimize this Microsoft Edge and let's get into the settings app. Uh, you can either go inside a uh, little notification panel here or you go to the start. So I'm gonna go to the start settings and within settings, let's go into personalizations and let's go to colors. And within colors, go all the way to the bottom and by default, this is turned off. Show color on start taskbar, action center, and title bar. Now, by default, I have this nice little blue. As I don't know if you guys can see, but look at the dialog box. The dialog box has a nice inline or outline of this blue color. Let's say I want that blue color to uh, be everywhere. So if I go all the way to the bottom and turn this on, my taskbar is blue. Even my Fire Explorer is blue. That's pretty awesome. I like that keeps everything nice and clean and keep everything consistent with one color. Now, if you turn it off, everything will just go to plain white and whatever your uh, theme is. So let's close this up. And the next thing that I noticed within uh, the new build is if you go to start menu and then you right click an application or an app, uh, the context menu has changed and it has improved a lot. I kind of surprised that they're adding more features from here. You're able to unpin from a start. Uh, you're able to change the resize. It looks like there's more options between the apps and how to resize it. And the more option, uh, this is pretty cool. You pin to the taskbar. You're able to rate and review the app on the spot. You're able to share. You're able to turn off the live uh, action within the app. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another app that I saw that was brand new. You guys could probably correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but I noticed on this build, that if you go into the all apps and you go to the P section, uh, there's a phone uh, now, if you are using a Windows 10 uh, build phone, most likely, and you have your you have everything uh, connected to your Microsoft account, because again, you have to use a Microsoft account for everything to work seamlessly. Uh, and you've been using the phone, most likely you're going to see histories. This is pretty cool. I kind of seen this already inside the Mavericks and El Capitan world with an iPhone device. Uh, when someone texts me on my iPhone, it goes into my laptop if I'm using my Mac laptop and I'm able to type in text from there and then receive the text. I like that feature. Now, another thing is that Skype has been improved, but one of the things I don't like about the build is that even though they improved Skype, you have to install Skype. So when you go all apps and you look inside the S, you're not gonna see the Skype application. Uh, you are going to get an option that says, let's go back, you're gonna say get, uh, get Skype. Uh, you click on this, it's going to take you to, it's going to open up Microsoft uh, Edge and it's going to want you to install the application, which is weird. You shouldn't have to install that at all. It should be already pre-built inside the, the operating system. But uh, it looks like they have Skype video. I've been having some problems. And one of the problems is I've been trying to use my personalized Skype name to link uh, with the Skype video. And this is the problem that I've been receiving. Now, I have tried 
uh, to link my account with my Microsoft account and it worked with no problem, but it was really plain. So I want to show you guys. So let's exit out of here. Uh, let's go back inside. Uh, let's go to all apps. Let's go to Skype video. See if it launches up. Okay. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to say do later. Uh, I'm going to do later cause I don't want to enter a number. So right now my Skype video is hooked up within my Microsoft account. And this is how it looks. It's really plain. Uh, if I go to settings, uh, and it's logged into my Microsoft account, my live dot account, but I want to, I want to hook up my, my Skype, my Skype name account. And that's why I'm getting that problem. So I got to do a little research on that to see how I could fix that. Now, the last thing that I noticed within the new build is a bunch of icons have been approved, uh, device manager, uh, which basically shows you all your drivers have been installed properly, or you can update them on the spot. That icon has been changed. It looks a little weird. It looks like a nice little robot with a weird little hat on top of it. And if you are an IT professional and you deal with a lot of registry hacks or a hacker or whatever you like to call yourself, uh, it looks like the registry editor icon has been changed. And that's it, guys. That is my hands-on with build 10565. I'm pretty excited with the build so far. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Certain things are not working for me, even though I'm working on a virtual environment, you would think everything would work great within a virtual environment, but things do break. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of impressed the fact that Microsoft is pushing more and more updates to these builds and, and in a way it's kind of helping, uh, the operating system is, is trying to help the user. As long as you guys provide feedback to Microsoft, when you're having issues with the operating system, they're able to take that feedback and incorporate within the new build. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this hands on. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.